reaction time is, is absolutely crazy. It feels like he can whiff punish heartbeats sometimes when you play against him, <laughs> that he is just that on point sometimes with uh, when he's playing offline. So it's, I think, up to Kura to kind of try and disrupt how Link Wars is going to be playing. And if he can do that, it can be very hard for Link Wars to kind of do what he wants to do and play how he wants to play. But we got Amy versus Keelik. It's kind of what we were feeling was going to be going on. So it's going to be a very neutral, heavy, fairly honest caliber, uh, what we're about to see. Um, so let's see how that one pans out. It's going to be a lot of this, too, can be how well can Kura prevent Amy Swords. from getting her Rose fight? Perception, right? She is a pretty That's mediocre character when she doesn't have it, but when she hits you with four Red Roses, she becomes one of the best characters in the game uh, at that point. So it's going to be oh, a yes, very hard course. thing for her to prevent. Kura starting off strong with some nice neutral there, but not remembering that that has a two hit or maybe trying to interrupt. But there we go. Killick with yep. the incredibly strong neutral tools. AA, BB, just really good to throw out. 2A, 2K. He's just a solid close range neutral character. Yeah. Yeah, you see Link Wars, he's moving back in, weaving in and out, getting that hit. Just throwing off the timing. Kura has two red roses ready to go. Two more and he will be powered up. But Kura looking fairly strong in this round so far. Oh, and that's oh, a great way to end that to round. Press a button. Yeah, getting clipped by that BBB string. Uh, oh no. Oh, somebody's hitting the share button. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Player there two. we go, back into it. Yeah. Yep. Rose number three, still not fully powered up, but great whiff punish from Link Wars on that duck throw. Now full power, has access to one of the best neutral tools in the game at 4 AA. It's a great horizontal low. Uh, used to be somewhat better than in uh, the recent patch. Yep. I believe it's now uh, plus zero on here instead of uh, instead of plus or something like that. It's minus four now. But look at Kuro just having four, all this wall pressure. Yep. Going to pop that soul charge, get the plus eight. Can't do anything after that. But counter soul charge coming from Linkor is going to take his turn back right now. And neutral has been reestablished. So there's okay, that yeah, little talking about earlier. He's coming game. in strong. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't care. Six XP six twice. And again, oh, he's that contesting. Yep, that's Ooh. something that you have to keep in mind now, right? If that was neutral on hit, Link Wars would have been able to move around. But because it's minus four, his movement is contained. Very true. Uh, so for those of you who may not be... Oh, gets caught in the air. For those of you who may not be aware, um, most characters' soul charges don't do much except just buff them. But with Killick, when he soul charges, he gets his health reduced every couple of seconds. That's why it's very dangerous to go into soul charge with Killick if you're not able to end the round quickly. But it does look like yeah, Link look is about to end this perfect. round with a perfect seven golden yep. letters with two bars into another grab just for the double disrespect. Yeah, fantastic stuff. But going in with this very slow low, catching Link Wars' time with Link Wars has mixed up into the soul attack. Mix up situation for him. And look at him just delaying these options, hitting him with these lows, but the Kura just not gonna care, just disrespecting with that 2 2 B entirely. There's that 1A. Oh, beautiful AGI with Monument. Couldn't get a yeah, lethal from the version. Just that bit of damage. Oh, the yeah. whole oh, thing with the B B B Let's mm -hmm. go. That's game number one. Yep, game number one for the Kura. Linkors was unable to get that Red Rose perception in that first round. So in game round number two, he was forced to try to have to still play around the fact that he didn't have it and sacrifice potential damage that he would have had if he'd had it in round number one. So that is one of the weaknesses to Amy is if you don't have that power up in that first round, you do suffer until you have it. Mm, very, very true. I mean... When, you have, when you're fighting a character like Killick with a player like Kura, where you could see he just understands the game really, really well, that recent nerf to Amy's 4 AA isn't really taken advantage of by a lot of players, but with that 6-6-B that Kura was just smacking Linkors in the back of the head from, I mean, he just understands the pace and he understands the matchup really, really well. I think Linkors was trying to get in with uh, a bit, a uh, few... Sorry, you're trying to get in with too many tricky things that Amy has. Whereas all you need to do is just play that neutral game, slow it down a little bit, make Kura make mistakes, and I think Linkors has got a chance of bringing this back. Yeah, it's hard to make Kura make mistakes, though. His neutral is impeccable. He understands the game to such a high level where it's hard to just force your opponent to make mistakes when they are extremely adept at the game. Oh, very much so. I mean, that 6-6-B is just doing so much work. Even so much as to catch sidestep. Beautiful 2-2-B. Going to get the yep. classic Killick Soul Calibur 6 combo. 
Yep, 2 2 coming in from Linkers, though. Uh, with Punish is being traded back and forth with the disrespect while rising K from the Kura. Oh, tries to go for the eye wall rising be a beautiful move. It's actually minus 12 on tip, if you didn't know that. And not a lot of people do. They think it's safe just because of the pushback. Yeah, the pushback is very hard, though, for uh, characters, especially uh, characters like Amy to deal with. because she has that very stubby range. Oh, and there's going to oh, be the yeah. Red Rose Perception. This is the round start that you want. This is like the optimal round start for an AE play. You got Red Rose Perception and you won, won the round. That is the best possible situation. So when he's got Red Rose this early on, do you think it's worth it trying to go for full white to eventually get purple? Or should he stick with red I just and keep that lively? Because look at this, Zubaz. He's about to just take this 2-0 so clean. Oh, no. Yep. No way. That's what Red Rose does. There is no <laughs> point to go for white rose perception, except for like maybe like one matchup. But no, it, the neutral benefits and the damage potential is just way better with Red Rose. So you'll never see a competitive Amy player go for purple. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Both now almost sitting at two bars. Oh, gets hit with the second. <laughs> yes, he does. Uh, God, look at that damage. Tries to go to the 4 4 key. 4 4 K. Safe yeah, horizontal mid. There we go. Soul the charge. Yeah. Evil kill it. Yeah, big plus frames. Soul charge going to not deal with that situation. I'll knock him away. Wow, even though his life is ticking down by him, by itself, he's just playing this neutral game, but you're getting hit by these counter hits. Good break, gonna save him, but a beautiful whiff punish with 4BB by Linkors. Let's go. Yeah, he played a very slow there, which was very smart to do, right? Kura, his life was tickling, tickling down very slowly, so he kind of had the ability to play a little bit more slow, wait for his opportunity, because as his life is draining, he is just closer and closer to just being one hit away from the game being over and Linkor is showing off his patience uh, and being able to take that game. And you can see that he is just firing on all cylinders right now. You can see him chugging that water. You can see him, his heart is just beating like crazy. That is the Linkor that we know and love. When his anxiety is peaking, that is when he is playing at his best. Yes, indeed. Right, well, we're going back into uh, a smaller stage this time. No ring outs or walls. Uh, which of these two characters would you say has better wall combos? Because I don't think they're both known for that. They're really not. They're very neutral, heavy characters. Helix has better ring outs, but it's not really a huge factor in this matchup. Okay, there we go. So, you know, people say the first games or the first rounds are always information gathering. You can definitely see that they've both adapted to try and get a smaller, more compact style of play here. Yes, they have. I like these throws that Linkor is going for, conditioning Kura, trying to get him to just duck and get a reaction out of them. Oh, good whiff punish. Going to get one rose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a very bad situation for Linkor right now. Oh. Very low on life. Only has one red rose. Oh, oh no, the delay! The delay cancel. cancel. Let's go. There's a yeah, second red rose. The meter. And now Kura panicking roses. just a little bit because he's about to get himself destroyed from having such a great life lead. Linkors was looking so vulnerable that entire round. And he just yes, brings it back. Coming so in. good. Yes. He's so patient. He's so good at it. Again, he's not confirming that AGI into lethal hit. He's just going for the option almost immediately. Because he, he just doesn't want to have to risk it. Oh, and there we go. That 6BB I-10. Beautiful, uh, beautiful yeah. option there for the punish. Yeah, and we saw Kura. He was ducking after that 3B. That's going to be information for Linkors to go with. You know, maybe we'll see 3B into another mid if he got that Twitch Oh, duck. no! He completely flums the whiff punish. I think he probably tried to go for a 2-2B, but got 8-8B uh, eight, eight instead, or probably just an 8-B. Yeah. Mm -hmm, but great interrupt from Linkors. He has the timing right now. Look, he's going for the Oki Blender. He's been going mid so many times. He got hit. he got the round with the mid in, in the last in the last round. So he went for the low that time. What a great mix up from Linkors. He is just showing his package. <laughs> he is showing that he knows what's going on. And uh, Kura almost at two bars here, but I don't. Th there we go. Leap time. Is. Chunky bit of damage. Kura now has the life lead, especially with this 44k just frame. Will he pop Soul Charge? I don't know. Probably not worth it at this point. No, nah, he's got the round pretty much ready to go. I mean, he did in the first Linkor. round, but Link managed to bring it back, so you never know. Yeah. Yeah, look, even though Linkors has the life deficit, he is playing the game at his pace still. It is still being played at his pace. All right, great horizontal, catching the sidestep uh, from... Actually, it looks like he caught the, the Soul Charge, Linkors. He lost the bar yeah, meter yeah, there. He, 
Co uh, critical edge. Linkos thought it was quick oh. enough, but no. And now he's got one bar down. Here we go. With punish with the CE and about like what yep. two seconds worth of direct, like health drain. That's hell yeah, it's gonna be a lot of right damage. Mm -hmm. And this does put him back into normal Keylick mode. Oh damn! Here comes the neutral, neutral, the honest and safe pokey neutral. Oh, okay. Ooh, never mind about great <laughs> while rising B. Yeah, from Kura, just gonna take advantage of the delays that Linkors are doing. He is now catching on to the timing from Linkors. Oh, we're about oh, he doesn't get the duck. He tries to interrupt. Yep. Nice, nice duck though, right there on that string. Gonna spend the meter. Goes. He's gonna try and secure the round, and he does secure the round. Yeah. That's always worth it. If you can kill with the meter spend, that is 100% worth it. It keeps you in the game versus potentially losing the round. Definitely. Yeah, so okay, this is last first round first situation here. Scene of this game. Oh, hits him with the A. Get him with the 3B. No, goes for the 6B B combo instead. Okay, this is yeah, all right now. He has here. a really good Oki. Yes, he does, but Soul Charge coming in from Link or trying to set the pace. Gets the counter hit confirmed. Into the Oki situation, into the throw. Not out of this one yet. It's very down to the this wire. Is this is so close, Dan, right now. Has the frame advantage, has the meter still go. Catches the duck, but <laughs> Kura has the throw. One mix up situation away from both players. Doesn't finish. Oh, oh and there's the one punish. Oh, wow. I told you, he can whiff punish a heartbeat. Kura was, look, this, okay. Kura actually got so much mileage out of that 6 6 that you can't really blame him for going for it again. No. But Linkors was having absolutely none of it. Just straight up, you want to try and hit me with this Ori mid? I'm a backstep, hit you with this great CE. See you later. Good night, Irene. Catch you later in this round, Robin. That was a very close set. Very amazing neutral from both these players. But Link